What's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome back to the channel where tonight I'm going to be doing a screen test with this Luva Build 55 OLED TV. Now this is a test that I like to do on all the OLED TVs that I get sent and it's just interesting to see how these OLED panels perform from brand new out of the box. Now I say brand new, I have put a number of hours on this TV to make sure it is nice and bedded in. So what I'm going to be testing for in this video is for any vertical banding, any patchiness, any dead or stuck pixels. And obviously at this early stage, I wouldn't expect to see any burning. Right then guys, first starting off then with a 5% grayscale. And I just want to point out that this TV is a 55 inch and costs 3000 pounds. So yes, not a cheap TV at all. So first impressions then, well, it does look like we have a bit of patchiness going on. So most noticeable in the top left hand corner just there. Yeah, we have a bit of a dark patch going on and we do have a few streaks as well. So yeah, not perfect. Also down on the right hand corner there, we also have a bit of a, a dark patch going on. So that is not ideal. And uh, yeah, it just goes to show just because you are paying more for the TV doesn't necessarily mean that the panel itself is gonna be any better than maybe a cheaper model. Now, I just wanna point out that the TV has had the automatic pixel refresher run quite a few times already. So it's not like, you know, I've been giving this thing a hard time. Moving on now, and we're gonna run a color sweep. And uh, first thing that we're gonna do though is start off with a nice bright white. Yeah, on that, that is looking mint. So let's check out to see if we can see any dead or stuck pixels. Fingers crossed there aren't none, but as I've mentioned in previous videos like this, I have had brand new OLEDs before that have had uh, stuck pixels from out of the box, but this is looking okay, which I'd like to think it would be, especially at this price point. So just moving up the left-hand side now then, moving to the middle, pulling back out, and that is looking good. Next up, we are gonna test out blue. So let's move round to the side, and that is looking nice and uniform. Nice big slab of blue going on there. No obvious patchiness. Next up is green. And that's looking really, really nice. Again, nice big slab of green, nothing dodgy going on there, no patchiness as far as I can see. Finishing up then with a lovely deep red. Now it does look a little bit more pinky on camera, but that is just the camera itself. Uh, but in person, looks real nice. When I come around the side again, it's looking a bit more pinky there, but trust me, it looks fine as I stand there looking with my own eyes. Moving around to the side, yeah, that is looking mint. There you go then, guys. That is the testing complete. And yeah, a little bit disappointing there with the 5% grayscale. When you consider this is a three grand 55 inch TV, I have seen better on OLEDs that have been close to a third of the price. But at least it was a nice clean sweep when it come to all the other tests. So let me know in the comments section, if you had paid three grand for this TV, would you have been happy with those results? Now, if you have enjoyed today's video, do us a favor and give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you already haven't, and hopefully, Catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.